There was an interesting opportunity to just expand the Bill and Frank storyline to tell a story that we didn't see. Who the hell's Frank? He was my partner. There's this very small allusion to Bill's sexuality and the fact that he had this partner named Frank. There's like a philosophical argument between these two characters of Bill and Frank that was touched on in the game, which is, yes, you could survive, but to what end? Bill is like, that is the end. The end is survival. And then Frank is like, no, there's more to life than this. Frank, we will never have friends because there are no friends to be had. In the game, right, eventually they, they have a falling out and Frank leaves and that's his tragic demise. Uh, and in our conversation, we're like, oh, it could be really interesting to actually show the opposite of that in the show. To show a successful relationship, to show two people who meet, fall in love, fight like cats and dogs, but stay together, make it work. When you do have someone that can protect the other and someone that loves the other and brings beauty into their life, they could live a full, fulfilling life all the way to the end. We'll be fine. The tragedy of that episode is actually is like the note that Bill leaves Joel and Joel gets that message too late. And that's when that shift happens. He's like, well, it was too late for Tess. Maybe it's not too late for this kid. <laughs> 